Hello, hello again. Maybe I'm a little bit far. Yes, I got closer to you now. Yes, our first session in sushi study, uh, and in this unit we are going to study all everything about Earth. Um, and in order to understand the Earth well, we have to study the st structure inside and outside. Before we go through this, uh, let me tell you something, and it was a surprise for me too, that in 1620, an uh, Englishman, Francis Bacon, he was a scientist who uh, was the first person to uh, assume that um, the seven continents that we know right now in our world, they, they were uh, all together, uh, they were connected together in, uh, in, in, in a thing called the supercontinent, like this. That was how was the, the, uh, the, the, the seven continents looked like at the beginning. Uh, and then after the year passed, they started to separate uh, till we have those seven continents right now. Uh, the Bacon's ideas were supported when the scientists discovered that uh, there were rocks in Africa here uh, that matches rocks in South America. So although they are totally far away from each other and each one of them uh, uh, in one side of the, of the earth or the world and the, between them there is an ocean, but they found that uh, the types of rocks in Africa matched this one in South America. This is the, uh, was a proof that this uh, um, assumption was correct uh, that the the whole continent were stuck together at the beginning forming something called supercontinent okay let's go to the earth our planet our home planet the earth is the third planet in the uh, in the solar system and the distance between the earth and the sun it's uh, 93 million miles what is the sun the sun is a medium sized star it's not that huge like you, you, you think. No, it's only medium size, and it's a star, not a planet, of course. Uh, and we find it where? On the edge of the Milky Way galaxy. Before we know it, the Milky Way galaxy, let's know the, our solar system, where, where is our planet in. Uh, the solar system consists, as you can see in the middle, we have the sun in the middle, and around it we have nine planets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight and the nine that um, this one that uh, are, are not counted because no one could reach it as well. Uh, it also the the solar system also uh, contains the some some called celestial bodies like the comet, uh, asteroid, and the asteroid belt. Uh, the nine planets are going around the sun in a virtual line called the orbit. Our Earth is the third planet, as I told you. This is one, two, and three. And if we concentrate about the asteroid belt, that we are going to study about it in detail, but as long as the, the picture here is more clear, you will find that uh, it's located between Mars and uh, Jupiter. You just look at this, this Jupiter. How huge is it? Between Mars and Jupiter, we will find this asteroid belt, and you can see it looks like a belt here. What is the Milky Way galaxy? You know that the universal, it's uh, full of millions of uh, galaxies. Uh, the, the, our galaxy, where the solar system, where our Earth is in, is part of a galaxy named the Milky Way galaxy. Uh, and where we, you find this dot. This dot is the, our Earth in uh, a bigger, a little bigger dot, which is the solar system at the edge of the, the Milky Way galaxy. Do you think that there are other uh, systems or solar system in the in the galaxy? Yes, uh, most probably they said that. Okay, let's study some of the celestial bodies that we talk about that we found it in the solar system. We have the first thing is the comet. You will find that the comet it's uh, it ha it looks like it, uh, a flying ball with a tail. Why the comet is in? It takes the sphere, a sphere, uh, um, a sphere body, takes the shape of a ball, and it is covered with ice and dust, ice and dust together. And because this body is flying with a very very high speed in the in the universe, so the 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 ice started to melt, mixed with the dust, forming this tail behind it, 
and meanwhile it it make it look shiny so this tail is a tail of vapor uh, because it's racing it through the space and the ice is melting at the same time this is the comet well, you might see the comet in the middle of the, the sky if you are in a place where the sky looks so clear like in the desert for example the second body is the asteroid this is one of the uh, celestial bodies and the asteroid as you can see it exactly looks like that it's a large chunk of rocky material a large chunk of rocky material flying in the space and then the asteroid belt as we talk about uh, asteroid belt because it's full of asteroids as you can see here with different sizes and shapes and they uh, they call the belt because they take the shape of a belt we said that we find it between uh, the orbits of uh, uh, Jupiter here and Mars here this is Jupiter here and this is Mars okay so now we have understood where the earth and, uh, and the things surrounding the earth let's go more further closer let's go more closer to the earth we want to study the structure of earth in order to understand why all these features that we can see on it like the the volcano the mountain the hill the river the ocean uh, the tides and falls all these things how how did they form to study the structure of the earth we need to study it inside and outside Although the Earth may look like a solid ball for you, but actually inside it, it is formed of uh, uh, layers or series of shells that surrounded one another. They are built one over one another like this. This is like a portion we have taken from th the whole Earth here. As you can see, it is formed of uh, layers or shells that surround each other. Let's go inside the Earth first. Inside the earth, we have just in the middle here something called the core. You know the apple when you eat the apple? This, this thing in the middle where you find the seed is the core of the apple, the middle of the apple, the center of the apple. Also, the earth has a core, and this core at the center of the earth, it is made of two, uh, it, it's made of iron and nickel. Uh, the core has two parts. We have the inner part like this one, and we have the outer part like this one. The, let's talk about the outer, uh, the outer part. The outer part is liquid. The outer part of, uh, or the outer core is liquid. Why the inner core is solid? Why do you think? Why the inner core is solid? Because if the inner core was liquid too, so the Earth would not take this sphere shape. It, it will not take this sphere shape. So the inner core is the solid. So the layers are formed around this solid thing forming this sphere shape so again the core has two parts inner core which is solid and the outer core which is liquid you have to write this well please after the core we have another layer called the mantle this part this part is the mantle and the mantle as you can say as you can see it's surrounded the core and the mantle has several layers in it uh, the mantle, that's why we can say that the mantle contains most of the Earth's mass. Uh, the most way, the, the way of the Earth, you will find it here in the mantle because it has several layers. Okay, let's go closer to the mantle. We said that the mantle has several layers. What are they? This portion of the Earth, again, we said that um, this is the core the, and this is the inner one, which is made of, which is solid and then followed by the outer core which is liquid above the core we have the mantle this is the mantle this one yes the mantle uh, contains two layers uh, the first one is the athenosphere the athenosphere athenosphere which is the lower mantle the lower mantle called the athenosphere and then the upper mantle the upper mantle called the lithosphere the athenosphere, which is the lower one, it is hot and solid, hot and solid. While the upper mantle, which is the lithosphere, it is cold and brittle. Brittle means it is, it is easy to be broken, to turn into small pieces, like the biscuit. The biscuit is brittle. Uh, some kinds of, uh, of glasses are brittle, easy to be broken. But let me uh, make it easy for you to memorize it. 
the uh, those two two layers they are almost the closest one to us and the most close one is the lithosphere so the athenosphere should be hot and solid because it is so far away from us but this part the lithosphere it should be cold and brittle cold because it is so close to us if this part was not cold so we cannot step on the uh, on the floor we cannot walk on the floor uh, the car's tire may melt if it walk on the drive when you drive on, on the floor on the ground i mean so it is cold and brittle to make it easy for us to dig if the the lithosphere was not brittle and was hard or solid it would be too hard for us to 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 dig or to plant even uh, uh, on the ground so one more time the mantle uh, this is the second layer after the core it contains two main layers the athenosphere which is the lower mantle and it is hot and solid because it's far away from us the closest one which is the lithosphere it is cold and brittle cold and brittle easy to be uh, uh, turned into pieces or small pieces fine okay. also we have the magma the magma is inside the earth too and the magma is molten rocks why those rocks have been melted because of the high temperature and the high pressure they found there and when it find a, a weak part in the between the layers it will start to come up till they find a place to penetrate and they come up or th through uh, the crust which is the the surface of the earth uh, coming up in a form of or forming the uh, the volcano so this means that it the the, the magma uh, ca it can form in the mantle uh, the mantle and it rises through the crust uh, forming the volcano what is the crust the crust this outer surface of the earth where we walk on or live in it is the uh, the thin layer of the rock that you can see here the thin layer of rock at the earth's surface so this is what's inside the earth so what's on the earth itself what is above the earth itself uh, above the earth we have um, something called the earth spheres earth, earth spheres uh, it's like the earth system signs uh, the things that uh, 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 give the reason for the life to start and begin on earth what are they first we have the atmosphere the atmosphere they are the layers of gases that surrounded the earth and it contains the oxygen that we breathe it protects also the earth from the radiation and the space debris the debris are the uh, like those rocks uh, uh, flying in the space that may fall on earth so the atmosphere prevent the, those debris from falling on the earth it will be a disaster of course and also provide the medium uh, for weather and the climate the, the atmosphere is responsible for the weather and the, the climate that we feel between the, for the season and the, the temperature so this is the first sphere which is the atmosphere it the, the gas that surrounded the earth which is air which means it's air okay. the second sphere is the lithosphere and we mentioned this one before in the structure inside the earth it's one of the layers be, below the um, the crust uh, the the upper the upper mantle the upper mantle which is as we said cold and brittle so it's uh, the solid rock and then i don't mean by salt it's hard i mean there's something solid not water not it's not water not air uh, a rock portion of the earth's surface okay so it represents here the lesser sphere it, it represents the the solid earth here also the uh, the lithosphere the solid rock portion of the earth's surface it includes the crust and the uppermost mantle under the ocean under the ocean the lithosphere uh, forms something called the sea floor under the ocean we call it the sea floor the lithosphere is called sea floor and then the fourth the third thing is the hydrosphere hydrosphere it's made up of water elements uh, on the earth uh, which includes oceans, seas, rivers, lakes, uh, and even the water in the atmosphere, the water vapor. This is the hydrosphere. So we have the atmosphere, 
which is air, we have the lithosphere, which is earth, we have the hydrosphere, which is water, all water found on the surface of the earth. Fine. The three of them, three of them together, the atmosphere, the lithosphere, and the hydrosphere, they form something called the biosphere. The biosphere, which is all life on earth. It is the part of the earth where plants and animals live, and even human. Uh, if we miss one of them, so there would not be biosphere, there would not be life at all. Yes, here it is. You'll find that um, this is the word where we live. We have this part, which is earth. This is the lithosphere with whatever inside it and whatever living. And here, uh, surrounded this part, we have the air, which is atmosphere. And then we have the water, which is the, the hydrosphere. The three of them form a circle called the biosphere. Form a circle called the biosphere. So the umbrella is biosphere, and below the umbrella we have atmosphere, lithosphere, and hydrosphere. Okay. Also in the Earth, we have the continent. How many continents do we have? Seven. Those continents are huge land masses above water. Low, huge land masses, very huge in the area, and they are where? They are uh, swimming over or above the water. What are they? They are North America, South America, we have Europe, Asia, Africa, and Australia. And the seven is the Antarctica. The Antarctica. Okay, uh, that's it. I wish that it, uh, I have explained it well and simply. Uh, um, I think uh, no need to go to the back of the book unless you want more information. Um, I simplified for you here. All what you ask to do is to memorize the definition well. Uh, this unit actually is full of uh, uh, enormous amount of definition. So that's what you ask to do. If you understood it, understand it well, it will be easy for you to memorize it well too. Thank you very much and um, see you soon, inshallah. Bye-bye.